Hello and welcome to this video of rotary hook replacement and timing. To begin, let's turn off your machine. Slowly move your pantograph back to the farthest position. To expose the rotary hook, we will need to take off the needle plate and shaft cover. First, take off the needle plate. Then follow up with the four screws on the top of the lower shaft cover. To take off the cover, simply just grab each side and gently separate them while sliding the cover up and off the lower shaft. Once the cover is off, go ahead and remove the metal bracket sitting on the lower shaft. Next, we will need to loosen up the rotary hook screws. On the right of the machine, you will find a screw next to the degree dial that will allow you, with a 5mm Allen wrench, to lower the main shaft and to rotate the rotary hook. Here are the screws of the rotary hook we will loosen. And here are the bracket screws we will need to loosen. Before we loosen the rotary screw, make sure the main shaft is at 100 degrees. Start off with the first screw. Then turn the gear clockwise to the next screw and loosen. Turn the gear again and loosen the last screw. With the rotary hook screws loosened, we will now move the rotary position bracket forward. We will first be taking off the right bracket screw. After that, just loosen the left bracket screw. No need to take it off. Once it is loosened, pull the bracket forward as shown. Now we can take out the rotary hook. Before installing the rotary hook, let's take a look at the placement of the rotary hook as a reference. At 202 degrees, the needle should be in front of the tip of the rotary hook, not past or not before the needle. With the rotary position bracket, look at the placement and how the peg is not all the way in. Make sure to leave a gap. When installing a new rotary hook, make sure the needle is not in the way, as shown here. Go ahead and insert the rotary hook as shown. Make sure the rotary position bracket is inserted in the gap of the rotary hook. Once you have it in the right position, slightly screw in the right side of the bracket. Make sure it is not tight until the timing is calibrated properly. Notice how we are holding the rotary hook in timing position while lowering the press foot. You want the needle to fall in front of the tip of the hook. Now lower the press foot and needle to 202 degrees, turning the gear counterclockwise. As shown, the rotary hook tip needs to be right behind the needle when it is at 202 degrees. Once you have positioned it behind the needle, we will tighten one of the rotary screws on the left side of the rotary hook. Take your time doing this. You do not want the hook touching the needle, but you also do not want a big gap. We recommend that the needle is about one millimeter from the hook.
Now that the timing is set, let's go ahead and tighten the other screws. Make sure they are firmly tightened. Once they are tightened, go and check the rotary position bracket, loosen up the screws and make sure it is pushed onto the rotary hook but not touching. Screw in the bracket once you are sure of placement. Now with that done, we can now put the cover back. Grab the metal bracket and put it on the arm shaft as shown. Next grab the cover and place it in as shown. You want to make sure to enter it from the back first and then onto the front. Ensure it is firmly in place. Once the cover is back on, you will tighten the screws. Then you will put the needle plate back on as shown. And there you go, we have now finished showing you about rotary hook replacement and timing on your new Redline Mini.